Hello all. Today we are going to do some basic algebra. Now I hope you can see this. Now as you can see in this we have, we have 5 divided by 15 equals x and we also have 5 times x equals 15. Now these in algebra terms are the same basic problem. 5 divided by 15 equals what? That's right, 3. So we'll cross out this x and we'll write 3 in. Now 5 times x equals 15. This is the same problem. You just take the 5 and you divide 15. So 15 divided by 5 is what? Again. You're right, it's 3. You have just done a basic algebra problem with ease, people. Now I think I know why people have problems with the algebra. The x scares them. Either that or the dot scares them. It's either the x or the dot. I'm going to go with the x. You know, that little letter in a number problem scares them. So we're going to replace it. We're going to write the same problem. Only we're going to replace the x with something that isn't scary. So now, instead of 5 times x, it's 5 times cookie equals 15. A cookie isn't scary at all, is it? So instead of seeing the, the magic letter, we just cross the letter out, and we replace the letter with cookie. So once again, now we have 5 times cookie equals 15. That's not scary at all, is it? Because it's a cookie. And it's whatever kind of cookie you want as long as it has dots in it. For me, it's chocolate chip. You could draw a peanut butter cookie. You could say this is oatmeal raisin. I hate oatmeal raisin cookies because I don't like oatmeal, but I do like raisins. So it's, so it's a cookie. And once again, it's the same answer. It is three. That is all algebra is, people. It is the exact same as multiplication and division, just a little bit different. And from now on, instead of having letters, you don't see the letters, see cookies. So if we do another one, which is 8 divided by 40 equals cookie. It takes me a minute longer to do the cookie than the x. So then it would be 8 times cookie equals 40. See now this you should get right off the bat because it isn't scary at all because of the cookies. So 8 divided by 40 equals what? That's right, it equals 5. So we'll X out the cookie and we'll draw right a 5 in there. So now it's 5. We know the answer to that one. So if we know the answer to that one, we know it is the same here as 8 times cookie equals 40. We know 8 divided by 40 equals 5. And we know from previous that 8 times is the same as 8 divided. So when we're dealing with algebra, so, therefore, if 8 times cookie equals 40, what does cookie equal? That's right, it equals 5. You people are getting very, very good at this. You're getting very, very good at this. And you're no longer afraid of that X, that letter, because that letter is no longer a letter. It is now cookie. Now, let's get into some harder algebra. 5X times 3Y equals 112. Now how do we do this? There are two letters now and we're trying to find the answer. 
The answer is simple. We don't do that. Because, let's face it, in all honesty, 5x times 3y equals 112, you're never going to need that in real life. You're honestly never going to need it. It's like you people who went to college for like nursing and had to, sk and, and had to study calculus. You're never going to use calculus in your entire life. The only people who use calculus are PhDs. So, that's not important. Though, I mean, we could still do it. We'd have 5x times 3y equals 112. See, first let's find the 5, which is, yeah, there's a whole new way to do this, but I don't remember what it is because it's not important. Just remember, if the letter scares you, then x or y, any letter, can equal a cookie. And cookies scare no one, though they may make you hungry for cookies. And you've just done algebra. And it was so simple, you got it and learned it in this six minute video. Now, I hope you enjoyed it and were entertained, but you also learned algebra and you should be very proud of yourself. So just remember when doing it, if the letter scares you, replace the letter with cookie. You could also replace the letter with pizza or whatever you want, something that doesn't scare you. And once you get out of that scary, out of that scary letter, you know it's easy. Because you figured it out right along with me here today. And we're only at about seven minutes. And you've done algebra. Congratulations.